Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, I went down to Cincinnati and I went to, I think it's the second largest Dollar Tree in the United States. And I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts for an iced coffee and I got one of these neoprene sleeves. Highly recommend these for summertime. If your cup sweats, it helps absorb it. It feels like a wetsuit. So I went down there. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I got a fair amount. Um, things that I have not seen before. And that's what I think the takeaway is on that Dollar Tree. They have, I feel like they have all the stuff. So like if I go to a Dollar Tree here, maybe I'll go to three different Dollar Trees. And each Dollar Tree has a little something different. This Dollar Tree down there seemed to have it all. So there's that. And then there's a new one in Pickerington I just found out about. So I need to hit that one up. But let's get started. First things first, I don't know if this is a holdover from Easter, but they're just um, a six pack of brown eggs. I thought that could be fun for the kitchen. These are definitely styrofoam, not plastic, which is kind of cool. And I love that they come in the little cardboard egg container. I can just take the plastic off and sit it right on the shelf. Um, I found in the crafting section some interesting items. First off, and I think this is for their pour over, but who doesn't need some funnels for all kinds of crafty business? And you get three different size of these little plastic funnels, which I think is pretty cool. So I grabbed those and then I just, I think this is a one pack, yeah. I just ordered some of these silicone little cups, but this also comes with stirrers for resin. And what I like about having the silicone is that it's easily cleaning it up, you know? So let's see what this is all about in here. First of all, these little bowls are great because it doesn't stick, you can clean them, but it's also easy measuring if you're just doing little silicone things. I grabbed, it came with one of those and I don't know, I think it's a stirrer and some kind of like pokey thingy, but it's very like flexible. So I'm not really sure how effective these will be, but that's gonna be fantastic. Um, and then I got this little kit. I thought it would be fun to take, oh, we got a weird shadow, take with me. Um, my cousin and I and her mom will be traveling. And maybe it's a fun little kit that she would like to do in the hotel or at the airport. So I have this one and I have another one I got the other day. Hmm, I'm looking here on this table because I haven't put everything away yet. Here it is. So I'll bring these two little kits with us and maybe we'll do them at the airport. I thought it was fun. Um, they do have their back to school stuff. They were, they were um, putting it on the shelves while I was in there, so I didn't get a ton of videoing. I'm going tomorrow night to a um, picnic with the Pops. So it is a downtown Columbus. The Columbus Symphony does this all summer. Every weekend they have a concert, you buy tickets, we have a table. And you can bring food and beverage. And so I thought these would be fun. I know they're for cupcakes, but I'm making some sandwiches. So I figure for decoration, I'll just poke them in some of the sandwiches. Because they're just plastic. I know it's with the 4th of July stuff, but we're not going to be there over the 4th of July. We're going to be there tomorrow. Um, okay, not definitely have not seen these before. I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. Who are you? Poker chips? Really? And you get 80 which I think these are gonna be fun. Um, my plan is to take them to work and use them as like a game. If somebody earns points, they earn, I hope there's a lid on here, but we're gonna find out. I don't think there is, but I'll put them in a zip bag. But anyway, at work, I thought we could do it like you can earn points and each of them says if they're, this one is 10, so that should be a $20 chip, a $50 chip, and a $100 chip. And like, they do something good, they earn chips, and then whoever has the most chips will win that month and get a prize. Just something fun to do while we're all in the office. And there's 80 chips in here, so I feel like that is sufficient. My team is only 14, so that is sufficient. 
um, I grabbed, and if you watch the video, and I don't know if it's out yet, but I did a walkthrough. Um, but I just got some of these grape drink mix. I love the grape, and this is the Wild Berry Wave, and it is, there's 10 in these instead of six. So I grabbed two of those just to keep my stash. So that was nothing exciting. Now they had, and I have seen some other folks holy, I need to bring this stuff closer to me. The teacher stuff, but I haven't seen, this store only had a little bit, but it says, I'm a teacher, what's your superpower? And it's a big magnet. So I'm gonna do a back to school basket for Sarah, cause she is a teacher, my niece. So I'm gonna start collecting, but I saw some other stuff that other Dollar Tree people were hauling. So I'm on the hunt for any of the back to school stuff for teachers. But I grabbed that, and then they have this little sticky note, and it's a dog, and this one says, the snuggle is real. <laughs> and then the little puppy in his glasses. So I'm gonna give put these in a basket for her with some stuff. I like to make her a little back to school something. And then to go with that, I grabbed her this book, which is really cool. This is an astrology guided journal. A magical journal leads you to get in touch with the universe. Now she does like her tarot cards. And so um, it's just a journal, but it's guided. So there's a lot of pages for notes, but also at the beginning, it talks about your path is illuminated by your roadmap of stars. I'm here to guide you. And then there's um, the polls, talks about your your different um, astrological signs and stuff like that. I know she will enjoy that. And to go with it, I grabbed, they had two packs, they had more, but I got two packs of these stickers and they are just both the astrological signs. So let's do a thumbnail with our So I grabbed those. These will go in her back to school basket as well because we got to take care of her body, mind, and spirit, right? So I'll get, I mean, there's plenty for her. I will be fine. Um, look at this. This is new this year. It's a pencil box, but look at it. So you can put your pencils, erasers, and things on the top and the bottom. And the bottom is just a flat. So I grabbed two of these because I think I want one and I grabbed one for Sarah. She gets a pink, I will take the purple and I love the marbling and everything I saw coming out in the back to school were a lot of this color and you'll see a couple more things I have coming up. So that's for Sarah, I got that for me. Also it will hold like crochet hooks if you're a crafter, um, my needles for cross stitch and pens and things like that. I mean, there's multiple things you can do with little pencil boxes. For sure. Um, as I mentioned, tomorrow I am headed downtown and we're bring, we all bring food to share. So I grabbed two of these so I can just put, I'm making um, the Hawaii, sweet Hawaii, Sweet Hawaiian roll sliders, ham and cheese. And so I thought, well, there'll be two tables. We have two tables of six, I think. So I will put two together, 12 and 12, and then put on on each table. So everybody has a little bit to share. And these are great for that type of an, you know, event, like take to go. If I bring these home, that's great. If I don't, that's okay too. So that's for tomorrow night. And then I realized I was running out of tissue paper. So I grabbed this blue and white set and then this pink. This feels like it has more. Yes, this has six sheets, this has five. I can feel the difference. Um, I just have to restock. I use this all the time, especially if I'm mailing out packages and stuff um, to protect it, but to make it look pretty. And so I was running low and I'm like, well, these are perfect. They're here, they're hanging up and I needed them. No, I feel like I bought a lot of stuff, but then again, I feel like I didn't get a lot of stuff. Because I spent $40. Huh. These are definitely new. First off, this is felt, not, um, I got two. They're for your sock drawer, which I need to organize my sock drawer. But these are not that 
thin fabric. This is thick felt. And then you roll your socks up. So you open it up like this in your drawer, right? And then in each little section, you can put a pair of socks. So you just kind of have to open it up. Let's see. I don't know if it, like, once it's opened, you know what I mean? Like once it's been stretched out, will it stay open? But each one of these little holes will hold a pair of socks, right? So it'll hold 14 pair of socks. And I'm wondering if I go like this way. I'm gonna sit here and fuss with this, right? Like hold it open a minute. So I grabbed two. So I thought, well, I could do socks and underwear. I don't know, do I have 14 pair of underwear? I think so. I definitely have more than 14 pair of socks. But I wanna put these in my underwear drawer and get some organization going. And I thought it was great that they were felt. So they would stay open. Ooh, I found some more of these little reusable um, snack bags. And I love that they're all different sizes depending on the print. Look at this one, this is perfect for me. I can put, for the airplane, I'm gonna fill this one up with some nuts or something. And then they seal shut. I know. And who doesn't need snacks on the airplane? I do. And this one definitely, and I do also enjoy that they have the, um, the bottoms that are thicker. This would definitely hold a sandwich. Um, if you were doing like for your kids lunches or something, and this is full circle is the brand. I'm sure it's Dollar Tree brand, but I mean, it doesn't have to just be for food. However, this is food grade and it has a nice snappy snap top. So I'm definitely going to use that when I pack my snacks for the airplane. And I just have a couple more things here. This I have not seen, the ice molds. I've seen people haul them. I've seen people use them. I have not seen them at my store. They are Greenbrier. We're gonna open them up because I'm gonna wash them and use them now. I'm going on a bike ride tomorrow, so maybe if I freeze them tonight, but let's just open up one and we can all look at it together. So looks like Okay, so it opens up like that when you're washing it out. You close it. It has a flat bottom to sit. You fill the top with water, close it, and sit it in the freezer. And you should get a sphere. I'm wondering what else you could put in here besides ice cubes. I don't know. We're going to find out. First, we're going to do ice cubes and see how they work. I'm just wondering if it will actually hold water. And I like too that you can just turn this to the side while you're filling it. And I mean, I don't even think you'd have to seal the top, but I guess you can. I know, we're gonna try that. Oh, Alex is playing with his ball. He's so cute. He's also very mad at me right now because he wants to go outside and I won't let him. Because he doesn't need to go outside. There's nothing out there. He doesn't sit still when I take him out. Oh, I'm trying to clean up my mess here so I don't accidentally throw stuff away. When I have to clean up this mess, right? Okay. Um, some other things I picked up. I grabbed index cards. And there are 60 in here. I kind of just love these for back to school and I love that they're sectioned off and these are ser um, serrated. Serrated, is that what we're calling them? Where you can rip it and you can put a fresh index card in here, take that out. And then there's a put a card in here and it labels what these are so for testing or whatever recipes if you want to keep notes I like these in my purse 
to be honest with you, for notes. But I also, you know, for ideas and stuff. I got this type and I also got this kind. And then they had another one which is like this, but it had a rubber band around it. So they have three different styles right now at the Dollar Tree to try out. Let us not be breaking things. And then they had a couple sets of desk notes. Um, this one, it looks like it says, these are actually, well, this, I don't know which one is for me. I'll give one to Sarah, but I'll show you. She won't care. And these are Greenbrier, I believe. Jot, yeah. So they're not the Crown Jewels brand, which I see in other stores. Um, this is fun because it's a desk pad, right? So you just leave it on your desk and it just says meeting notes, highlights. So for me, I would just leave this on my desk if I need to write things down while I'm on a call or something. So that's the pink one. It says today is a good day. It's true. And then the purple one, it didn't have a picture on the front. It just says one day at a time. But you see how I, what I said, like, you can get a whole desk set. Okay, and this is the same thing. It just didn't have a picture of it on the outside. But this is, it's all the same. So you get the same so I'll give Sarah the pink one because she likes pink and I will keep the purple because that's what I'm taking to work. So these are for my desk at my office. Now that I'm back in the office pretty much full time, I need to be bringing stuff back in like pens and pencils and stuff like that. Um, I grabbed this tray. It is strictly for resin because resin is messy. And when you get it on something, it doesn't come off. And I have a silicone mat that will fit in here, but it will just keep everything contained and off my cutting mat on my desk. So when I do resin, I'm gonna start doing it in here and also the glitter and stuff. I can keep the mess under control. Some folks I saw on um, online we're doing that and then they bought the dollar tree cutting mats and they fit right in here and then you can just take the cutting mat and wash it off so just a heads up idea to keep your mess contained when crafting and then the last thing i picked up and there was two of these so i got one for me and one for sarah it's an acrylic note board i am assuming you use a dry erase marker or you could use a Sharpie on these. And if you decide to use the Sharpie, you just use rubbing alcohol wipes to get the Sharpie off if you want to change it. Um, it's a little scratched up. That's interesting. I don't, I don't know if there's, I'm trying to see if there's a clear film on it. I feel like there is, maybe. Or not, I don't know. I can't tell. I'm not, see how scratchy it is? Oh, you can't see it, but there's a lot of scratches on it. I don't know, but it comes with, so it like leans up, but you can then set your phone here, right? And then you write, here when what your stuff is that you want to do for the day and then you can just dry erase it and I think you can do it either side or maybe they're supposed to come with more than one no nope just one so you must be able to just move it to either side so I guess if you wanted to put your phone here you could write free write over here or you can put your phone here and it will sit It'll sit up on here like that. And then you can write your to-do list over here. I thought that was super fun. So I'm definitely going to take this into the office. I'm still going to try to figure out if, I don't, I cannot tell if there's, you know, sometimes they have like clear plastic over it because the edges feel like there is, but the front does not. So I guess there isn't, but I will try to clean it up. Anywho.
So that is everything I grabbed while at the Dollar Tree in Cincinnati. Well, it's actually Sharonsville, Ohio, um, which is like 20 minutes outside of Cincinnati. But that's where I went today. And this is all the things that I got. So I hope you enjoy. And I either have already posted or will be posting a walkthrough of that store. It was pretty busy, but I'll do my, I did my best getting as much video footage as I can. All right, everybody, you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.